I didn't yeah, like there was that like one. four different noises in there. <laughs> do you have yeah, two it's phones set up right now? No, what you could do is you could do like a recording. So like here, I just put the volume. Like I just have this playing in the background, and then I did shit. I oh, you look at you, Mr. Hard. Fancy Pants. It was actually an accident, but it worked out. <laughs> Welcome to the late episode twenty of the Too Soon Podcast. It's not we, late. We missed a week. Yeah, we just missed a week. There we was a episode to twenty. A break. We tried birthing it, but it died in the womb. It died yeah. in Trey's womb. We decided like to we take recorded a break. an entire podcast. Right, we decided to take a break. Trey's, Trey's we womb. decided to take a break. Nah, we shut should. up. <laughs> we decided. I, I already to take told a break. the people that there were technical difficulties. Oh, the people! The people! Yeah, are we decided fans. to take a break. We the too soon crew. The listeners. My name. The viewers. My name is Trent. Joined with me this week is Oric. That's my name. Also joined with me this week is Liam. I go by that occasionally. Also joined with us and me and Liam and Oric this week is Trey. And he's gone. So you couldn't yeah, hear that, but me. he left yeah, the that, that You have to no, edit that recording. in. You gotta edit that in now. <laughs> yeah. you gotta get the Discord leaving server. It's me. <laughs> I've always been here. <laughs> I'll figure something out for that. Yeah, or just use the uh, the switch sound that you made last time, which would not make any sense in this. <laughs> it's the only other switch. sound effect that we've ever used. Yeah, we talked about a lot of shit last week. Like some that was yeah, a quality I, podcast. It it wasn't bad. I don't remember it, but I know it wasn't bad. I, I, could, I could listen to my recording. It was fucking good. Trey talked fucked about, it up. Talked about the McGregor Mayweather fight. Talked about oh yeah it was planned. It was like that was, happened already. Yeah, yeah, that happened. And if if you had, I watched it, if we had been able to release the podcast last week, you would have heard me say that I want Mayweather win, I want McGregor to win, but I knew Mayweather was going to win. Yeah, which is and exactly what happened. Also, would have provided yeah. them with a link to a perfectly legitimate and not uh, bad streaming. Yeah, and it wouldn't have definitely been chocolate cheesecake, but that doesn't matter at this point. Milo, why you put a Nothing matters at this Actually, point. Actually, oh. your your link didn't end up working for me. I had to go through some weird program that seemed like basically a reskin of VLC called uh, Ace, Ace Stream. Stream. Yeah, yeah, that's I've what I've heard of that before. Oh, really? Well, yeah. okay. Well, yeah, that ended up working pretty well. Yeah, Ace Stream I just is found good. some random website. That's how I watch all of my football games and my hockey games because uh, I'm from New York, but I'm a Philadelphia Eagles that's fan. Illegal. So. They never have the Eagles games on because it's Philadelphia stuff. See, I Unless don't really watch many sports, Giants but when game. I do, it's the Yankees, and they're here. And they on suck. On the Yes Network. And they suck. On the Yes Network. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually what it's called. Maybe we'll have yeah. them as a special Yankees guest. Entertainment Sports or whatever. Sure. I think that's what it stands for. Probably. I saw Maybe someone we'll with have the... Them as a special guest. What the Yankees? Yeah, we'll have the entirety <laughs> of the Yankees, team. the entire franchise. <laughs> podcast brought to you by the entire team of the Yankees. Yeah, the entire. Team. Everybody's Sal. here. I want to get Sal from Sal's Pizza on before the Yankees. I'm pretty sure Sal is dead. Well, we can... Sal may or may not be dead, but his son is 100 percent dead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's all. I Sal may be dead, confirm? but his son, son's dead. <laughs> so son the real secret. Definitely dead. So I think I've been thinking about it for quite a while now. I think the real secret to Sal's Pizza, the reason why it's so good, is because Sal is actually short for Sal Manila's. <laughs> it's Sal Manila's Pizza. Just use raw cheese. I like how you're like mm-hmm. Sal's Pizza is so good, even though yeah, you've never you never had no Sal's idea. Pizza. No, it's you a, have no to idea, me, man. To, to me, it's the concept of Sal's Pizza that's so good. I don't really know <laughs> whether or not it is good. Of it's the, the idea that sounds yeah. good. It's, when you it's go, the it's gonna be that like Sal. the one day a week where it's like okay. Like the, it, like Sal's is never bad. It's always like it goes from like a seven to a ten. You could get anywhere from a seven to a ten New York style pizza, but when it's ten, that's a better than everything else. Yeah, it goes from you take a bite, mm, that's pretty good, to you take your fingertips to your mouth, and you go, Mwah. <laughs> yep, you, you turn straight up Italian. Yep. Oh, Mamma mia, it's a good. A beep, beep, boop, bah. You start I crying. think I love cheese. <laughs> I know I love cheese. One tear falls from your eye. <laughs> who made this I'm actually trying to go to sales tomorrow but no one has responded so I responded you can't go you I'm a good friend but you're stopping you, said you no basically you can't go by yourself yeah I can well, he can and he does want to. wait I, 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 I take the liver 
Why don't you just... They don't deliver. We've been over this. I'm past the six-mile mark, all right? But we've also been over this where you can just walk to the six-mile Like, Why would I do stop. that when I could just go to Sal's? <laughs> Yo, tell him to meet you at a bus stop if you got one. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Liam and I started uh, school yet again. School's back, bitches. <laughs> boys are back in school. Yeah. And, it uh, yeah, sucks. it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Already? Oh yeah. yeah. When you go to Manhattanville and like when you go to colleges, you interact with like one person, you're already depressed because yeah. they're fucking dumb. Yeah, Manhattanville <laughs> is special. It's like anyone outside of our group is a fucking idiot. They come I can't up to you. Hey, it. I had Sal's pizza. <laughs> I want Sal's. <laughs> Why you gotta do this to me? No, <laughs> it's more like I'm someone who just doesn't day. understand how to have any sort of human interaction without it being fucking weird and terrifying. That's yeah. uh, that's the majority of the student body. Yeah. If only oh, but we got solar one. panels now for some yeah, we reason. We have like a shit ton of solar panels for no reason. I I noticed that there's a there's a critical flaw with those solar panels. They're supposed to double as kind of like a like for the parking lot, like a cover for the parking lot. But instead of putting the solar panels on top of a full-blown cover for the parking lot, they just use the solar panels themselves as the cover. And what that does is there are seams in between the two. And that means once there's snow up there and the snow starts melting, it's going to fucking get those weird, like, cold drips that are just going to land on the back of your neck while you're trying to get back in your car. And I'm going to fucking hate it. Well, here's a, here's a little tidbit of information. You don't have to park underneath them. <laughs> you don't have to, but you will if all the other spots are taken. They should have just went with the, uh, the priority yeah, no, that, that's of covering the big problem. your cars. The big problem with our school is that there's no fucking parking. So right, it just sucks. And now they're doing construction, so there's even less parking than usual. Yeah, it's like fuck me. Yeah, I okay. I went to uh, the Founders parking lot, which this is the uh, very local yeah, section this of is... the. This is the parking at the Manhattanville College section of the podcast. Uh, I went to the Founders parking lot, and that they're like really, I guess, just starting the construction, or like very recently they started. And normally you find like one or two parking spaces at nine in the morning, and that's okay. But now there's just nothing, and I had to circle the whole school. Yep. That's about right. So here's a legitimate question about your college and your experiences. So you've been there for several years now. Senior so how would you, bitches. So how, mm-hmm. so how would you both feel about expressing the differences between your time at your college pre our last election and post without really getting into the politics? I just like just a general. Nothing has <laughs> well, changed. Tell you Everyone about the just mood. complains more. Well, but <laughs> remember the mood of the actual day after. Yeah, everyone complains more. Well, they complain after that day, but the first day... I don't know, did we talk about this already on the podcast? We, the first day we felt like 9-11. Oh, were we not? I guess we mm. weren't. But like the first day, the day after... Yeah, you would think you there got was a on major campus terror attack. And, yeah, it felt like white planes blew up. Yeah. Which is the a, city a, ma- a major city near us. Yeah, and it, it it was just so. Ex- the only people that made any noise were the Trump supporters that ended up getting kicked out because they were spray painting shit all over the place. Yep, and they were telling Muslims to leave the school and spray painting their dorms and shit. So, great job. Uh, hope you find a great education elsewhere. School spirit. Yeah. Uh, so everyone else was just like, the, the, I went to class that day and we basically just didn't do anything because the professor just didn't know what to do. Like I, right, my I remember professor my was, journalism class. My professor is Irish, or was Irish, and uh-huh. she was just like so she distraught. was rooting for McGregor. Yeah, she was like, <laughs> rooting for McGregor. <laughs> it was it, McGregor just, for like, McGregor itself. Literally everybody was so distraught, and I was like, it's just four years. Like fucking relax. Yeah. But it, honestly, that like that was the weirdest part was just how confused and disappointed in just the world everyone was. Yeah, but th- then again, there's a reason why it's called a liberal arts college. Oh yeah, because I mean, I'm not saying liberals. we were right or wrong to be disappointed. I'm just saying we were that way, and it felt like a terrorist attack. You happened. guys were. I didn't give a shit. <laughs> well, all right. I'm just saying the majority, uh, the the overall feeling of everything. Yeah, no. people were fucking complaining I'm way trending. too much. Have you talked to any of your family up in Texas? 
Yeah, well, actually, actually, my cousin lives in Houston, yeah. <laughs> I got really confused for a second. I was like, why? Oh, wait, no, it makes sense now. <laughs> major hurricane? No, so, yeah, the major hurricane Harvey that's happening, I do have family that's basically what was in it. And as a matter of fact, my cousin Kaylee, um, who is a couple years older than me, she's been living in Houston for like the last like two or three, like probably three or four years, actually. Is dead. No. Um, <laughs> I swept up in the tornado. Yo, but... But her, but That's a little her, too she, soon, man. But she but she actually <laughs> will more than likely actually have to be rescued because like her most of her surrounding areas is like too flooded to go anywhere. Yeah, so. it's fucking nuts. That's insane. I honestly like when it was first starting, I I didn't think it was much because I barely heard anything about it, and I just basically judged yeah, it was just like tragedies the weekend based before. off of what I hear about it. The weekend and, yeah, before everyone much. started talking about it. And then it was just like, oh, wait, no, this thing is actually, like, fucking going to be devastating. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was so focused on the effects of those hurricanes on my wave conditions when I was still in Jersey. <laughs> and uh, now people are fucking losing their houses. And I'm like, hey, can I surf? <laughs> but uh, lucky for me, there's another hurricane that I could potentially surf this weekend. Just imagine... <laughs> I'm going to miss these fat waves, man. <laughs> well, honestly, I'm a little bit pissed because the waves at my uh, at the Jersey Shore are like 17 feet today. And I'm missing them because i uh, got to go to school. But you know what it, you're not missing? Or actually, you are missing. I'm not missing. <laughs> There's a pool in my backyard now. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Wait, there was a pool constructed or just showed up there randomly? Yeah, no, it's, it's, a, new, a, it's a new thing. Instead of, I don't know instead where of it came robbing from. houses, they just... Uh, <laughs> They give you a pool. See, it's the wet bandits, except instead of turning on my sink, they drop a pool in the backyard. <laughs> Trent, we should buy a kiddie pool, and then one day when it's really hot, just set it up in my yard, and we both get All right. It. Here's a question. <laughs> what's, ta- what's what's actually tackier? A, a, a actually fully built above-ground pool or a kiddie pool? A I mean, built. the fully built above-ground is tackier because... The owner does is not aware of its tackiness and okay. is willing. How about we get two kiddie pools? <laughs> Yo, I'm down. One for each. No, here, here's what you do. You take two kiddie pools. You take one and you cut out the bottom. And then you put the walls that are remaining on top of the first one. And you seal the connection between the two. And then you fill that up so it's deep. No, but would you go through all that work? No. <laughs> what the <laughs> Because you could you could film the whole thing, and when it inevitably fails, it'll be a funny video. You guys so ever like, hear the YouTube basically the like a ramen out? cup, kiddie pool style? Sure. I don't I eat like ramen, ramen so I don't know, but pizza. Oh. So are you guys like familiar pizza? with a YouTuber who does animations and comics, uh, comic strips, The Odd Ones Out? Negative. Never heard of him. All right. Well, he's just basically like one of those guys that just does like comic strips, and he makes videos about his comics and does comic style videos. Uh, and for one of his subscriber milestones or his birthday or both, I think it was both. He, uh, he did a, no, it was a subscriber milestone. I think it was also around his birthday though. He did a, a, he did, he did a sprinkle like the kind you would put on a cake or a frosting or something, you know, like something like that. Like like those kind of sprinkles, the edible kind. He filled up a kiddie pool for every single subscriber and the milestone was 3 million. Wait, so so. (laughs) who is this YouTuber? Uh, the odd one's out. He's a uh, he's a comic YouTuber. Like he makes uh, he makes comic strips and comic art stuff. You know, like uh, you know, like Garfield style shit. Let's comic see. strips. Is he that Garfield? seems kind of like a waste of time <laughs> having to count. Well, it's a waste of three million fucking sprinkles. Well, <laughs> he didn't he didn't actually count the well, individual sprinkles. He just yeah, bought enough tubs of sprinkles. Yeah, all you have to do is just get like containers that tell you how much. And yes. Just buy a certain amount of that. Yeah, but, oh, but, no, but he, but he didn't get little. He got huge. Yeah, so he did more. Well, you know what, Liam? Yeah. Well, he did more, so I don't agree with that. I don't know. Well, it's, it's subscribers to come. He's anticipating a. Yeah, uh, see, I don't feature. like it. That video but could yeah, get he... him more subscribers. Welcome to exactly. this portion of the podcast where Liam doesn't like something, and I don't well, like. It's it. not quite as val- volatile as when Oric doesn't like something. Yeah, Orc. but I don't like many things. You say so. Don't matter right now. We're about Liam, all right? Yeah. Excuse me. This is my section of the podcast. This is his part. <laughs> but I like tying everything back to me. Otherwise, I'm not interested. You Sounds about right. Are. <laughs> a piece of shit. 
So uh, continue. If this is not my section, then continue without my input. All right, let's think. What does a lamb like today? I don't like smoke. Smoke bothers me. Hurts my eyes. <laughs> what kind How of about hurricanes? Do you like hurricanes? Uh... Nah, hurricanes suck. Fuck that shit. Should, should probably explain the smoke aspect. Oh, yeah. Well, we've already explained this. We volunteer and I don't we, think we have. light fires. Uh, we light fires and wigwams. Asian... There the were some big-ass crickets in the, in the longhouse. Uh, yeah. He didn't come to today, but apparently Liam has a class with him. Yeah, no, I have a Greek art class. That's way too early in the morning. <laughs> but uh, we, we lit a fire in the longhouse, and uh, when you do that, it fills that's up the smoke. That's what the kids call it these days. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. That, <laughs> the that's new a lingo. for marijuana. Yeah. Uh, it's not, but not to confuse people. Uh, when. Is. When Go smoke on. goes in places where bugs are, the bugs don't like it and they don't know what to do, so they move around a lot and they go down so that they can breathe. And there were some big fucking crickets in there. Yeah, these crickets were like the size of... They were probably like three inches long. Yeah, and they uh, when they move, you hear them in the walls of the longhouse, which is made out of sticks and straw. Yeah, it's just like leaves. straw, so it's just like... It sounds like you're shaking, like... A thing yeah, it sounds sprinkles. like a it sounds like a branch <laughs> blowing in the wind, like a fall branch blowing in the wind, where the in, leaves are at crisp. the end of August. The fuck are you posting? <laughs> Stop huh? posting shit. What? No, I'm not doing. I anything. see a We're Thomas the Tank Be thing with a body in it and whatever. Something else that I don't want to read because it's dyslexia, and then a dabbing Mario. God now all it, of this has to be in the fucking link. Stop link-tom. bringing Just... it up. <laughs> all right, let's, what else can I bring up? Hey, the Beatles. And Tulane University. What? <laughs> These are just posters that are just around. <laughs> Why do you have a Tulane poster? How do you know it's the Beatles? I don't know. You're it's dyslexic. a cool poster. You sure that's what it says? It's my mom's poster and it looks cool, so fuck it. You sure it's the Beatles? Can you read that right? Abbey sure Road, the Beatles? Poster? Yes, I'm familiar. I don't know. Uh, yes, I'm sure it is not my poster and it's in my house, so it's got to be my mom. You I sure? think you've got a homeless man putting posters in your house. Oh, that's not quite as good as a pool. <laughs> For first, uh-huh. I would just give me I got a one pool. of those. <laughs> so first, there's a guy that leaves pools, and then there's a homeless man that leaves posters. Yeah, in Pelham, we just get posters because they assume we're rich enough to give us uh, to get to get pools. So, like, what kind of posters? Is it random? Is it... it's just whatever the, the homeless theme? people buy in the dumpsters? No, no it's Tulane posters only. They're hired by Tulane. But do you guys know what we talked on last week's podcast that I, no, I forgot. forgot to mention? What? Your boy is 21 now, and he's getting no, fucking no. wasted. Actually, actually, I brought that up when we talked last week. No, I did. I'm pretty sure I did. No, All I he did. said was, you know what we talked about last week, and now you gotta fucking take credit? No one gives a shit. Yeah. You know what? Because I said it. I remember <laughs> your birthday. No one gives a shit. What are you getting? Friend points, motherfucker. You have less friend me, points. Me, me, are they? Are they redeemable? No. <laughs> you redeem them for I a trade swift them kick in. up your ass. <laughs> May I trade my friend points for a keychain? <laughs> no. My no. keychains are mine. Yeah, I like my keychains. I got a Batman keychain and a Legend of Zelda keychain. I got a Jackson Hole Wyoming keychain. I took it's off all my keychains because they were getting cumbersome. Ah, look at me, I'm Trent. I have too many keychains. I don't want to be cumbersome. I know big words and stuff. Cucumber. <laughs> cucumbersome. He's right, got a boys. cucumber on his keys. I just thought of a great thing. So, What's that? Do you know what today is going to be from now on? Wednesday. Other than Wednesday? <laughs> today is the if it, if first it's... annual <laughs> book club with Liam day. What, what are you, Philip DeFranco? Liam's reading books now. We can't both have book clubs. Liam's reading books now. <laughs> Although we we do, uh, this is a good segue. Segue to what? Potential books? sponsors. Thing. Not yet. That's not, not yet. done yet. No, god no. damn it, Auric. I'm just trying well, to talk about books. <laughs> well, I mean, save it for when we got a sponsor, motherfucker. But I'm reading books. <laughs> it's like we have it, it's just not ready yet. All right. I'm reading books. I've right, been reading the Witcher series, book. and I just finished the The Last Wish and Swords of Destiny, and it is very good. And I'm about to start the series proper. Those two are prequels. So, if any of our viewers 
I'm gonna say they're viewers. not viewers. Just to they don't fucking see spite shit. You people. Um, yeah, but if any of our viewers want to fucking join in with the they books, they're not viewers. That's just that's I'm just saying a viewers point. just to spite you at this point. <laughs> well, we're gonna say they're not viewers every time. Yeah, you know what's but, funny though, Liam? Actually, I have a copy of The Last Wish by And Andrzej Sapkowski. Yes, the, the that guy is what I'm books. referring to. I have it in my hand right here. I have never read it. I bought it a while back, and I want to read it. Fucking read it. Tells it's, me that's not it's an excellent book. Name. Especially if you oh. like the lore of uh, it's called The Witcher. Witcher. It's very good. Um, there's little like tie-ins and shit that you'll like you catch from playing The Witcher games. Very good read. Uh, I read that book in like three days because I couldn't put it down. And yes, then I read a little boy with pitchfork. Yeah. And then I read the second book in just as few days. And now I am starting Blood of Elves. But I doubt I'm going to read that one just as fast because I started school. Man, so I have other shit to read. If you're going to be reading the Witcher books, you might eventually want to play Witcher 1 and 2. I don't think so. <laughs> watch a Wet Slayer or something. It's on sale. Because... I know, but the, uh, the problem with that is that like the fucking games are just not optimized. <laughs> And like, Witcher 2 is fine. I've been trying to play older games just because like, I missed them when I was a child. Like I tried to play uh, The Force Unleashed 1 and 2, but it was just a fucking drag to get through the first one. You should play Kirby Air Ride. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good game. It's a masterpiece on the GameCube. It's my childhood. You know, speaking of nerdy books, though... I did end up getting the first three Halo novels, and I do plan on reading them. I actually read the first Bam, one. Bam, Moon's Reach. Book Club. Throw that shit up on the uh, wall. Yeah, I read this one a while back, The Fall of Reach, but I'm going to reread it and read the two sequels, too. And that, I mean, it's more than two sequels, but the first three books are considered, like, the best. Here, I'm going to I'm gonna do a live reading of this receipt. Card okay. number X, X, the, Read X, your card X, number X, first. about X, Nova again. X, X, X. X X, 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 and then the actual numbers that I'm not going to read out. No, nah, you, you missed an X. I, I might have. Uh, <laughs> Visa, Aid, ATC, TC. I'm going to love when he... All right, this is actually he really boring. Just... I don't want anything to happen with this. <laughs> and you're also going to get like your personal information stolen from your oh, receipt. That's why I'm, <laughs> I'm only reading the left side and X's. All right, well, here. Visa. Before before we take our break, I'll do this. I'll, I'll do a reading of Vic Sinex, a 12-hour All right, contestant. we're going to take a little break <laughs> just so that if anything happens, our, we don't actually like totally ruin the podcast for the week. Like last so, week. Uh, so we're going to hear some fancy noise or something, and then we're going to be right back. And, and we're, we're back. back. <laughs> I forgot that all. I said that we should do it all at once immediately. I immediately forgot. What? What, are we so, doing? what about fried lettuce? Yeah, Dre, please tell the story. <laughs> they don't know about that. Well, now can't, we will. You just so. can't come out saying fried lettuce. <laughs> can't come out swinging. I don't know about lettuce. it either. You During the break, out. you said, hey, what about fried lettuce? And I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. So talk about it now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So me and Liam were uh, playing some PUBG. Liam and I. No, me and Liam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can you dead at that noise again? Like that. <laughs> Don't ever disrespect me like that. For, for the audio listeners, which is all, all of them. <laughs> uh, for our audio listeners, aka okay, every single right person the that listens again. to this. So uh, we were playing PUBG and my mom came home. And she started telling me about her day and... She told me about somebody from her church. She's like, "Can you believe that she tried to fry lettuce?" <laughs> and, like, out of nowhere. So I'm like, like just hold let it be wait. known. I'm sitting in my. I'm sitting over here and just like, what the fuck did she just say? <laughs> <laughs> so she, she tried to fry lettuce, and then we went on like, isn't lettuce like ninety five, ninety six percent water? <laughs> yeah, it's a leap. <laughs> so she basically just, just tried just frying water. water. It's literally a membrane. <laughs> It's just like, yeah, your mom needs a new job. She try frying lettuce. <laughs> so who is this? Was just a fellow churchgoer? It's a friend of her. She's known for years, but yeah, she, she's like, I don't know. She's like, do you know she tried to fry lettuce? <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> and this is why Trey stopped going to church with his mother. <laughs> they try to fry lettuce there. They're trying to teach me to fry lettuce, and I'm not about that. 
You can't do it, man. I'm a you spinach man it. myself. <laughs> Yeah, that, that was well, I'm, glad, I'm glad you re- remembered that. So I'm curious, did she like just drop yeah, it in she, there? Like, she put it? flour on she, it? Yeah. How How also, it's a lot of preparation to, to like fry something, isn't it? I mean, I don't cook, but you need a fucking. You need yeah, a fry. Need to... or you no, at least you need well, not exactly. Fry. Okay, I, I don't know why. Okay, I immediately thought like deep fryer at a McDonald's. No, no, because <laughs> that would be a Have you ever? Ha- seen like just like a like a French fryer and like in a kitchen, just like a little tiny one you can put on your counter that has oil in it. Or yeah. has only ever seen pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't fry pizza. Everything I see is in pizza filter. If I want fry had pizza a pizza for you filter, one day, that's how I see. You want to fry what? <laughs> see how that works. <laughs> fry pizza. Fry pizza. That does not sound good. Well, exactly. Visit, that's why can we fry we'll some pizza up it. for you. Yeah, let's see how that goes. I mean, wait, Liam, are we gonna put it in flour? Or just drop it in there. Uh, well, we'll do both. <laughs> All right. So that'll be one of the many videos coming out of your visit to New York. Frying pizza. <laughs> Frying pizza, putting uh, pools on top of each other or whatever and taping them uh, in the middle <laughs> of December <laughs> or January or whatever. Hey, you know, I'm still going to go swimming in December. I don't give a fuck. I got a Is pool your pool now. heated? I don't know. <laughs> what do you not know? Someone came know. in the middle of the night and installed it. Did it not come with a flyer? No. <laughs> who who leaves a flyer around when you uh, are <laughs> installing pools willy nilly? They leave it in the middle of the pool. It's like their <laughs> mo. It's like a like a uh, serial killer. That yeah, they... it could be a copycat. The world may never know. <laughs> so I'm assuming you've tried this pool out by now, right? No. No. <laughs> they filled How up with water yesterday, there? and I've been in school all day. Uh, oh, okay. We'll go well, out right now. And jump in. I would. Yeah, but report back. I'm up. You do I'm have about work, that. though. I got to go to work immediately after this. <laughs> you don't so, want to be soaking wet? Yeah, no. It's crazy. <laughs> what so happened you're gonna to have you? to, like, uh, keep it clean pool? and stuff. What? So, you're going to have to, like, get shit out of it when things fall in it. Yes. Generally, that's what you and do with like, pool. Or just buy and, a like, pool cover. Yeah. Do you have a pool cover like, yet? Giant tarps yet, or whatever. But, I mean, I can imagine that we're getting one. I'm assuming you know, it's not a saltwater pool. It is a saltwater pool. What do you think is I am? Is it really? Pussy? Thank God. Because if you don't get a saltwater pool, you're making a huge mistake. Yeah, chlorine is ass. Chlorine sucks, and it's just it more of ass. an upkeep. Well, how do you maintain a saltwater pool versus a chlorine pool? You put pool? salt in it like once a month. Yeah, no, it's like it's once like a month. It's the simplest thing. Hands off. It's, hmm. so, it's so like, ah, I want one. <laughs> Such a good idea. And I love salt water. What? You know what, the, guys, you know what that got me thinking about? Salt? The Destiny 2 beta. Did any guys play it? Because I did not. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, why Why did that come up? Because I wanted I do, to talk I did, about it. I didn't even bring it up because I knew you guys didn't play it. Yeah, but I wanted to talk. Hear the only way I'm going to end it. up getting Destiny is if I end up buying the uh, 1080 Ti while that Destiny deal is going on. Yeah. Well, See, I want to know about it because I don't okay. know if I'm buying it yet. So Trey did play the PS4 beta with me, the console beta, and it's the same exact beta. The only difference is that it's the PC version, so it runs better, and we could try all the PC settings. And I can report so far that it's an excellent PC port. Like, it runs immaculately, and everybody that I've played with so far on PC from a Discord server that I found recently for Destiny 2, everybody says it's a super optimized game, and everybody's having a great time playing it, like, performance-wise. But so from, that's... like, a game mechanic standpoint... What is the difference between the second one and the first one? Core differences? Like, the base gameplay is the same as far as, like, shooting and the way the game feels. That's pretty much almost all the same, but it's definitely refined a little bit. And playing on keyboard and mouse, my God, it feels crazy good on keyboard and mouse. Well, I mean, uh, have, I, like, the goals changed at all? Or is it still, I want better armor so that I could play this mission so that I could get better armor? And then you just do that over and over again. Pretty much that, but there are more things to do around that. But see... Ooh. The, I don't see, feel like Monster Hunter if you don't like that. <laughs> well, 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 I mean, well, if there's a fun challenge in between, then I guess it's okay. But Destiny well, was the very, first, uh, Destiny yeah, One well, was very uh, repetitive. Well, Destiny One. So, well, first one thing I want to go over though, when it comes to Destiny related stuff, as I because like Destiny at launch was what 2013, right? Yeah, 2013. Sure. Or 2014. No, it was 2014. It's one of them. Or yeah, it's, it's one of those. But who knows? But it, but it's 2014. So. The me that played games then and now, 
pretty much the same guy, but I've played way more different types of games ever since I got into PC gaming. And one game in particular that I got into recently that I've always known about but I didn't really understand was Diablo. And people always talk about, like, throughout my whole time in gaming, ever since I got into online gaming, is that Diablo is, like, a really fun PC game. But I never really got to play it. I'm not talking about playing it a bunch. I'm just talking about understanding what Diablo is. Mm-hmm. And everybody but Diablo. I'm but, but, Trey, but Trey can attest to this too that Diablo is all about the kind, it's it's all about just getting better stuff and just doing the same stuff over again. Is it not? Basically. Yeah, isn't that just basically about any, like RPG? Gotta get that though? loot, get them gear sets. That's that's basically any old school RPG and it's any kind of a uh, Diablo style art um top down RPG game. I mean the so division re- is kinda like that too, except mm-hmm. I, I just like it. <laughs> I mean, a lot of know. games are like that, where it's just really repetitive of just getting better loot yeah, so you can do better stuff. But also, there's like an end game that's within sight with the division. Like you can like tell how close you are to just having what you need, and then at that yeah. once you get to that well, point, you just focus on uh, like your skill tree, not skill tree, but like what skills your armors give you, and if that's relevant to your playstyle. And I like that. Well, I'll connect so, back to that. So the big problem with Destiny 1 at launch is Destiny 1 did not really have a whole lot in the end game is the big problem. And the game didn't do a really great job of explaining how the end game was going to work. Mm-hmm. So, And that's something I experienced because I also fell off Destiny at launch. But I came back about four or five months later when the expansions had just come out and there was actually more things to do. And I started understanding what Destiny was going through. And Destiny didn't really get good end game in my opinion. As far as it being fun and consistent until after the big expansion, the Taken King, came out. After that, they really fixed the in-game and progression. Because what Destiny evolved into was instead of it being a game where you're trying to grind doing one raid every week and a couple of okay strikes and not getting much loot and getting really bad random chances from the engrams, it turned into you get all these cool missions and raids to do every week and... The whole meta game at the end game is about just getting your light level up and and fusion, so where you can take the stats, uh, well, the, t- take the level of one gear and fuse into better gear you like. So it was all about just kind of getting better stuff, but also getting the stuff you liked, too. So it it, it turned into something more fun and actually something you can really set your uh, set your like sights on. You can actually have a goal like, okay, this is the gear I want. I I want to get other stuff to make it better. So Destiny's in game after Taken King got really fun. And that's kind of where Destiny 2 is at. It's kind of taking all the stuff that I learned from Destiny 1's expansions and its updates, and it's really kind of made the the goals fun and obtainable. Would you say it. that's a problem with games, though? Like, the fact that the game isn't fun unless you get this expansion, like, that's a genuine problem. Well, I wouldn't say so because Destiny... I, I would say the big problem with Destiny when it launched is not that it didn't have enough stuff. It's that the stuff it did had, it didn't work well together yet. But Destiny by itself is basically a game like Diablo. It's a, it's, a, it's almost like a game, not like WoW. It's, it's, it's more similar to Diablo than it's WoW, but it's a game that does expand as you get the expansions. It's not filling in missing content. It's expanding on what you do. Because a game like Destiny is not the same thing as Call of Duty or Halo where you're just basically adding on to experience you're expanding the experience if that makes any sense i'm just trying to explain it differently because it's not i don't think it's really fair to say that destiny is bad or incomplete because it doesn't have all the expansions the expansions do add a lot would you say it's one of those games where i feel like the first one was kind of like this and it's kind of like for honor where you stop playing for a little bit and then when you get back on you feel like you've been left in the dust by the majority of the player base and you just kind of Yes, but it doesn't dishearten you, though, I don't think. Because, like, every single time I got back into Destiny 1, I was always behind because I would take breaks from the game. But the great thing about playing Destiny, Destiny 1 at least, was that it was so easy. Not necessarily so easy where I could do it, like, in a day, but it was not impossible to get back up there. But let's say you're left behind by all your friends. Is it a solo climb back up to them? Or can you play with them? You can do solo, but Destiny is not about playing solo at all. Well, that's what I'm but saying. So Since it's not about being solo, it, it, can you, like, can... Yeah, your, your and friends will can your friends more... want to, or will yes. it be more of a chore? No, it's not a chore at all. Because I know really. that, like, in The Division, me boosting you guys is a bit of a chore. It's still in, fun, in, but it's a bit of a chore. And, and it's a in lot Destiny, of work. In Destiny, <laughs> it's you, usually least. only a yeah. pretty minor convenience. Like, in Destiny 1, it was only a kind of a minor inconvenience to help someone catch up. 
because most of the time, as long as someone's base level was max, you can get them to start doing the same stuff you're doing and help their light level get higher, which is like the end game leveling. And oh. that wasn't like something terribly like not like like uh, Tom especially. Tom really enjoyed whenever I would get back on Destiny because he would enjoy showing me what has changed or what things have been added. Because like back when he was living in Japan and his wife was working, he was home watching the baby all day in between babysitting stuff of his daughter. He that's what he did. He was just on Destiny. So he was always in that, in that, uh, in that game all the time, and with, with that community. So he always he always enjoyed catching me up and really showing me like what to do to kind of catch up, and that was really fun for me. Yeah, my I manager think... at my job, he's pretty much the same. Where it's just like he's playing video games, but he's also taking care of his kid, so he just doesn't care. And he he recently got into For Honor, and like I, it was actually really funny because he he was like, oh yeah, I just bought For Honor. That game is so fucking hard. And I was like, yeah, like <laughs> I played the beta and I did not like it for that exact reason. And then like two weeks later, he's like, yo, I'm a fucking God at that game. <laughs> we well, that, that's the thing with a hard game like that, where once you do learn a specific character and, and it starts becoming fun, it feels very rewarding. Unfortunately, yeah. that game had many other issues, like yeah, a lot more problems. issues and whatnot, and just r- random glitches and too much pushing off of maps because the maps were so focused off of like verticality in a melee game, which is odd. And like spiked walls where only certain characters could knock other characters into them, and it just got annoying. Yeah, I that one game but... should be good. Absolver, the fighting game. That yeah, game. I, I'm kind of not game. convinced. Never heard of it, but yeah. for oh, I was gonna, I was gonna say though, but, uh, to just to because because I know Orc, you're kind of also trying to see if I'm actually gonna tell you to like recommend you getting it or not, right? Well, I think uh, I think I'm only gonna get it if I get the 1080 Ti, which is honestly it's kind of likely. I just need to like get all my money in one spot so I can see how much I have. <laughs> that kind did of you thing. Guys get Monster Hunter? Would I or did I? Would you, Would you? It's not even out yet. Yeah, I know. That's what I was wondering. I mean... Uh, maybe. I, if it looks cool, I'll get it. I mean, <laughs> if you have any questions, I can tell you just put, like, experience just from the other ones. I mean, I've seen the gameplay, but the thing, like, the gameplay that you posted, but I had already seen them fight that exact same monster. Also, on as someone who likes animals a lot, I don't like the idea <laughs> of just, like, hunting these fucking things for no fucking reason. <laughs> Fucking or like a pussy. Like, not... like when when the when the monster was running away limping, and I was like, "Fuck! I want to kill the people more than I want to kill that." Like, fucking leave it alone. Well, that's how you know it's weak. You can do the. I know, it and it's fucked it. up. Well, then I you don't can like just that. capture. It. I like I like animals more than I like people because they don't disappoint. Well, I hate you, or that's fine. <laughs> animals love pizza too. Uh, how how you feel about dragons, wyverns? I mean, they're cool. I'm a fan of. Uh, Would you kill one? No, not if it unless it's like in self defense. Mm. <laughs> the game is called Monster Hunter. Yeah, yeah, the hunting aspect is what I don't like because I don't like hunting and I don't like hunters. I don't like it. Well, <laughs> unless it's like population control, which a lot of like trophy hunting is a fucked up piece of shit thing to do. Hey, they fuck got you it if in you there. like doing it. It's in the game. Trophy hunting? <laughs> Not, yes, well, yes, and no. It's just there are times where you find a monster, and sometimes your trophy size, which is either they're really big or really small. Well, here, well, all they would need to do in like the dialogue of that game for me to like get hey, this, this out of my head. Hey, this monster's an asshole. Let's hey, this it. guy's been killing babies in towns <laughs> and is lighting things on fire, and you have to defend your mother. That kind of shit. Don't then worry, I'm like, fuck yeah, I'll, I'll kill the fuck out of I'll that provide shit. all that audio. I'll just be like, hey guys, <laughs> okay. you have to justify you my this actions monster? for me. It's doing this crazy shit? Yo, let's go kill it. <laughs> or just tell me that their population is getting too big for their own good, and then uh, that it's like really just taking, uh, preventing them from suffering and starving to death? Then sure. Well, in, in the previous game, whenever you like would get a quest to hunt a monster, you get like a backstory of why you're hunting it, and you know the reward. Some things, you know, would be like you know, it's been antagonizing so and so area. We need you to take care of it. Yeah, but then that sounds a lot like the fucking gray wolf, where it's like, oh, he, he killed my sheep. Even though there's so many other things I could do other than kill this fucking thing that's killing my sheep, I'm gonna just shoot it because it's easier. And now they're almost extinct, and I don't care because I'm an asshole. No. And I don't want to be that guy. Cause but do you I, know what I, I care about I've more learned. than... Well, you know the good thing about Monster wolves. Hunter? 
Good right. thing about Monster Hunter, they never go extinct, and you can hunt them. As <laughs> because many times it's a fucking want. video game. Exactly. <laughs> Still, you, you can hunt you guys the know same what I like monster more than a thousand like. times, and you can hunt it as long as you want. Trying to do that. Yeah, the innate, innate like animal defender times. within. I don't. I don't like it. But maybe. But you know what I like? What music? (laughs) So this week, I'm gonna suggest a song by Ghost, which is very heavy metal that I already have suggested at one point during this podcast. But I'm suggesting more because I love them. It's called La Mantra Mori. I'll put that in the Discord for you, or yeah, you will. You can't spell your fucking fuck. I don't know what I'm going to choose. Me neither. Uh, I'm just scrolling through that playlist of mine. You know, just, just put it on shuffle and go shuffle through a couple songs because that's what I do every week. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, the first one is Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> Yo, another thing that you missed by not having a podcast last week is I saw Hamilton live. Oh very yeah, very fun, very cool. <laughs> Man, one of my viewers in the Twitch stream keeps putting a bunch of uh, Hamilton music in the song requests. It's really funny. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was there the, for a bit of it. What's her name? Uh, her name's Stell. Stell, yeah, yeah. Actually, I think she did say she subscribed to the podcast, so she ends up actually catching up and listening to episode 20. Shout out to Stell. Hey, if you're listening to the podcast and you're not following us on Twitter, what the fuck, bro? Yeah, yeah. do that. <laughs> Uh, all right, so I have a song, but I have, I have no idea if I've already said it or not, but fuck it. Uh, Time in a Bottle by Jim Croke? 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 Like you're about to say Jim Crow. <laughs> Jim yeah, Crow Jim laws. Crow laws. Yeah, my favorite laws. Oh, <laughs> Best laws. <laughs> Here I go, about to get triggered. <laughs> uh, yeah, build him a statue. That's all I can say. Uh, any right, other music well, you guys I'll recommend for this week Simple Song by The Shins Oh damn it my song's already in <laughs> <laughs> Pick a new one Pick a new one I have so many songs are just The ones that I like recommending I guess Are all uh, the same so Okay I guess it's my turn uh, I guess I got Gang Related By Logic I love gangs all right, I'm changing yeah. it to "Rainy Night in Georgia" by Brooke Benton. Who you represent? Excuse me. I'm talking to Liam, he said he's oh, Alexander. Oh, who you represent, nigga? Wait, this song's or- also already in the playlist. The <laughs> Oric, find new music. Are you serious? I did "Rainy Night in Georgia." <laughs> I have so many. So- I'm fucking like almost three thousand songs in this playlist. Uh. All right, fuck it. Everybody loves somebody by Dean Martin. Is that in it? <laughs> No. Wait, yes? I don't know. Just put it in anyway. Put it in. It's place. in it already! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listen to new music, dude. Uh, 3,000 songs! <laughs> you have 3,000 songs and every song that you want to fucking put in the podcast is already there. Well, I'm also just shuffling. Alright, Simple Man? Is that, is that already in? Probably, that can't possibly be in. Alright, well, these idiots fucking <laughs> try and figure out songs. This uh, is also this. Make sure to follow be. us on Twitter at Too Soon Podcast. We're on Facebook at facebook.com slash Too Soon Podcast. Uh, f- what's it called? L- follow, subscribe to our YouTube because if you want to find all the links Wait. and the link dump and all that stuff, it's all on YouTube. It's in the description. Please. We are the Too Soon Podcast on YouTube. Uh, we are on iTunes, Google Play, Libs, and Stitcher. Tune in all the fucking places where you want to download podcasts. Um. And I was being an wanna, idiot. Yo, fuck you, I'm trying to read. Hold on, oh. hold on. I was being an idiot, and I was shuffling in the Too Soon podcast, and it happened to <laughs> only land on my songs. Nice. Wow. Uh, so, Gotta uh, make everything about you. Huh? I'm just going to do Grazing in the Grass by uh, something. All right, and then if you want to email us, hit us up at the Too Soon Crew at gmail.com. Follow, join our Discord. We're discord.me slash Too Soon Podcast. Uh, if you want to hear the beautiful songs that we are suggesting right now, uh, it's the Too Soon playlist on Spotify. And I don't even know if you're using Mallow's music, but check him out on SoundCloud. He's Tasty Melons. Melons, whatever the hell it is. It's in the link dump. Yeah, but thanks for listening. I love you. Actually, it looks like none of them were duplicates. I don't know. I might have put a shit ton of songs in today, and I might have not. <laughs> 
Or it's just going to suggest every song in his playlist and <laughs> just hope one of them is on there. I, I, I think, I don't know, I might have suggested more than one that's not duplicates. Or there's duplicates in there now and I just don't see them. Who knows? You could figure it out yourself. Yep. By following that playlist. Yeah, follow our playlist. The Too Soon playlist. Please. Please. Please follow Only on, Bravo. on Facebook. Please. Please follow on uh, Facebook. We have Norwegian Boy. That's Please me. like me on Instagram. We don't have an Instagram because I'm not going to post pictures. <laughs> Please I barely post pictures it. to my own Instagram. Do your Euro voice. Unless you want me to make have an Instagram, tell, tell me on Twitter. Yeah, email us to get an Instagram. Yeah, tell us, hey, faggot, get an Instagram. Oh, that's not a good one. Hey, why, bundle why, of sticks. Why, why, why were they calling it that? <laughs> what did you do to earn that? What? <laughs> what did you do to deserve that name? I don't know. Maybe, uh, people like to refer to other people. Yeah. Maybe I'm a bundle of sticks that are used to burn women at the stake. Who knows? Maybe. Was she know. a witch? Oh well, yeah, of course she's a witch. Why would you be nice. running at her at the stake if she wasn't a witch? I mean, <laughs> she could have talked back. She could have been disrespectful. No, nah, you just choice. give them a nice smack. Oh, you can only burn them when they're a witch. <laughs> on right, that note, you. here's some yeah, notes. On that bombshell. <laughs> thank you guys for listening to the Too Soon Podcast, episode twenty. We're See sorry. You next week. Yeah, not really. Minute.